The Ministry of Higher Education, Research Science and Technology held a press conference at the University of the Gambia Faraba Bantan campus earlier on Friday. The purpose of this press conference was to inform the public through the media about the progress of work at the UTG Faraba Bantan campus. Before the commencement of the press conference, Minister for Higher Education, Professor Pierre Gomez, guided journalists from different media outlets on a tour of the entire campus to provide them with first-hand information regarding the campus's progress. This event took place just two weeks after the University of the Gambia Students' Union, in a previous press conference, expressed concerns about the unpreparedness of the Faraba Bantan campus, particularly the lack of water and electricity. During the tour, it was confirmed that the campus indeed had access to running water and electricity. Water dispensers were conveniently placed throughout the campus, and CCTV cameras were all fixed and ready for operation. Furthermore, the campus was equipped with over 450 computers, more than 200 printers, and more than 150 refrigerators, all waiting installation by the contractors to serve the university's management, lecturers, and students. The state-of-the-art campus also boasted modern toilets, air conditioning in offices, an auditorium, ceiling fans in classroom, and projectors installed for permanent use in all classrooms. Notably, in April 2022, it was reported that a UTG lecturer had to conduct lectures under a tree at the Brikama campus due to the lack of classrooms and chairs for students. Following the campus tour, Professor Pierre Gomez, the Minister for Higher Education, Research Science and Technology, disclosed that currently 14% of courses were not being conducted due to the shortage of classrooms. It is revealed, according to the uh, alternate timetable uh, that uh, was out, that 86% of the entire courses of the UTG in 2023-2024 academic year can be managed in the available classroom facilities for now, while the remaining 14% need somewhere to conduct their lectures, and they don't have that for uh, Brikama now. So if you do not act now, it means, as per their data, it means 14% don't have lectures. And then even from that 80 something percent, 86 percent, some will, will end up not having lectures because you go there, then you find Gambit College using them. So the next thing is to go out and have your lectures under a tree or you cancel the lecture. And that has uh, quality assurance uh, implication. Professor Gomez argues that the need for the UTG to move to its Faraba Bantan campus is evident given the current situation. He asserts that the Faraba Bantan campus has enough classrooms to accommodate all UTG students without any difficulty. This situation has created an urgent need for space. Therefore, the university needs to move to its new campus located at Faraba Banta, where they have more than enough classrooms to accommodate the entire university, like here, as you have witnessed. Here, you don't share. Even the schools, majority of them will not share. This is, this where we are is exclusively for education. You have arts and science there. You've seen the School of Business and Public Administration. You've seen the School of ITC on their own. It means that when they come here, there will be some classrooms that will be empty because they, they won't need them. But we are building for the future. That's why we have these structures. In some years to come, you will have more students, and they will need those spaces. So you don't have to wait until that time you start building this number, uh, this number of classrooms. You start it now. But as you see, education, they have this auditorium. OK? And this will take up to 100 and uh, students. Yes. More than this auditorium, yes. 144. Yes, 144. Yeah. School of Arts and Science, they have two of this. So each one, 144. BPA, they have two of this. Each one, 144. And I, uh, ITC, they have one also. This is different from the classroom that we have visited. So these are the, the opportunities. Professor Gomez says that buses have been dedicated to transporting students to and from the UTG Farababantan campus, and students will pay less than the normal fare. 
Buses have been allocated at dedicated times to transport students and lecturers at different times according to their timetable slots to Faraba and back. This will cost students less than half of what they would pay for ordinary transport services. And let's look at the data. Students currently, to go to Brikama, Kanifing to Brikama, currently they take Gele Gele and they will pay around $60 to and fro. Now, the Gambia government, under the leadership of President Barrow, is saying with the move to Faraba, one, you, the students are going to pay from Kanifing to Faraba, not Brikamare, Kanifing to Faraba, they're going to pay only $10. And to, from Faraba to Kanifing, they're going to pay only $10. To and fro, $20 maximum. As opposed to the $60 they are currently paying now. The government is here to support students and acad uh, academia. Higher education is an investment. That's why we are celebrating this. We are investing. In addition, Professor Gomez announced that the water and electricity problem has been resolved. The electricity and water aspect of it, you've seen, have been fixed with all the completed buildings on the campus. On top of this, water dispensers have been fixed at accessible spots within the different schools for drinking. This will allow students and staff to get cold, hot, and room temperature water anytime. Currently, in uh, all the different campuses at UTG, there's no water dispensers for students. You go to Brikama, there's only two taps outside. If you want to drink, you just go. You find your way. You go to Carnifing, uh, one or two taps. If you want to drink, there's nothing preserved for you, uh, 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 you know, kept for you. But here you, you've seen, we have close to 50, close to 50 uh, uh, water dispensers for all the schools. So that, and it will be permanent. We are not going to take them. We leave them is part of what we're going to hand over to UTG. The Higher Education Minister also disclosed that the University of the Gambia Farababantan campus would be handed over to the UTG management tomorrow. Since its establishment in 1999, the UTG has been grappling with numerous challenges, including a lack of classroom spaces for some of the schools within the UTG. These have been affecting the effective and efficient teaching and learning at the country's highest learning institution. The schools readily available for students at the Farababantan campus are the School of Education, School of Information Technology, School of Arts and Science, and School of Business and Public Administration. Reporting for Kerfatu. I am London Cesar.